Good evening. Rain over the weekend. Some good news in fighting the Tiger Fire burning east of Crown King. Good evening. I'm Christina Carrilla. And I'm Mark Martinez. John Hook is off tonight. A community meeting just wrapped up a short time ago. And Fox 10's Jennifer Martinez is live now with the latest on the fire and the evacuation status. Jennifer. Well, that meeting, it ended about 45 minutes ago and it lasted about an hour. You can see the Tiger Fire. It's burning right behind me. We'll give you a closer look. This is north of Phoenix in the Castle Creek Wilderness. And as you guys mentioned, there was a community meeting this afternoon at the Daisy Mountain Fire Department answering questions from residents in this area. Officials telling us that the rain on Saturday slowed down the growth of this fire. Right now it sits at nearly 12,000 acres burned, but the most difficult part of this fire is in the fire fight is the location of where it's burning. It's very steep in this area with rough terrain and while fire crews are using aerial support to put out the fire, that is not enough. They need to attack this fire from below. It's difficult for our firefighters to access whether they're hiking in aircraft can't necessarily get into all those places. Safety is and always will be our number one priority for both the firefighters and the surrounding communities. So we are, have, we're really exhibiting patience. Um, patience allowing the fire to move to an area where our firefighters can safely engage. We've seen moderate to light activity on the fire. They want it to get closer. They need it to get closer to fight it better. But I mean, how close is it going to be too close? And residents in these areas shown on your screen should be prepared to evacuate. These are the communities in this surrounding area near the Tiger Fire. So on the ready status, we have Crown King, Cleeter, and Black Canyon City. And on set, we have Lorena Gulch Cabins. And on go, it's the Horse Thief Basin. And keep in mind that Horse Beat Horse Thief Basin, excuse me, is a recreational area where there's a lot of residents, where there isn't a lot of residents, and officials told me that only one person was evacuated from this area. Also, the Prescott National Forest is closed, and again, nearly 12 acres have burned. Right now, it sits at 0% containment, and of course, we will continue to fire to follow this fire throughout the day on air and online at fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jennifer Martinez with Fox 10 News.